Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful Halloween gothic roses earrings. I'm showing step by step and I'm using really simple stuff, only seed beads and regular earring findings, so I'm sure even if you're a beginner you will be able to make them. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are one color of 11 ounce seed beads or you could use 10 ounce seed beads if you want these are earring findings in old gold or couple copper color this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters you could use other beading thread of your choice this is size 10 beading needle and scissors and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back. And the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to pick up 24 of these beautiful beads. Okay, and I have 24 beads. Okay, 4 times 6 and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop here going twice through the loop I've made and I'm pulling and what I want to do is make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. Okay. Now I have this and I will go through some beads in this direction. Okay, I have this beautiful circle of beads. And now what I want to do is take one bead, skip the one that's on my way and go through the following. And I have this. Take one, skip the one that's on my way go through the following again one skip this one that's on my way go through the following and again okay and i will continue until the end and i'll meet you here Okay guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last bead from this row. And if you work correctly, here you should have 12 beads that are sticking out. Okay. Now what I want to do is in my next step is go through this seed bead here that is sticking out and I'm going to pick up nine beads okay I have my nine beads here and I'm skipping this one that's sticking out and I'm going through the following okay now I have this then again I'm going to pick up nine beads Oops, I took eight. I need nine beads, okay. I skip this one that's sticking out and I go through the following. Now pick up nine again and I have nine. I skip this one that's on my way and I go through the following. Okay, 
and I'm going to continue this three more times and I'll meet you here. Okay, and pay attention where I go with my last nine beads. Okay. I have this. Now, guys, I will do an additional row to straighten up my work. Okay, so I go here through four beads. I skip this one that's on my way and I go to three beads in this direction. You see, I'm skipping this one in the center. You will see why in a minute. I'm skipping it because I want to make an angle. And when I skip it and pull, here a beautiful angle forms. Now I'm going to take one bead and I'm going in the same place. One bead away from the angle here in this bead. Okay. And then I will go in the next two as well. Okay. Here I want to form an angle again. That is why I'm skipping this one that's on my way. And I go through the next three beads. When I pull, I have this beautiful angle here. Then I'm going to take one bead. Skip this, uh, don't go through this one that is just after the angle, but go through the one after that and through three beads in total. Skip this one that's on my way and go through the next three. Pull it like this. Then take another one. Skip this one. Go through the next three. Just like this. Okay. Continue these guys until here and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last bead from this row. Okay, just like that. Now, what I want to do in my next row is go through some beads in this direction, just like this. Through the angle and two beads away after that. And from here on at five beads. Okay, I have my five beads here. And I go in the same place through these two beads that are before the angle. Then through the angle and through the next two beads. Take five. K5 and go in the same place through these two beads and through the angle bead. Okay, I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself. Angle next two beads, five, two beads before the angle. And the angle itself. Okay, I will continue this until the end and I'll meet you. Here. Okay, and I'm here where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. And I'm exiting out of this angle. Okay, now I'm up to the next row. Here, what I need are five beads. Okay, five. And I go through this angle. Then again, five. And I go through the next angle. 
then again five and I go to the next angle and I'm going to take five again and I go through this angle okay and I will continue this until the end and I'll meet you here okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last five beads from this row and now what I'm going to do is go through some beads in this direction here I'm exiting one bead away from this angle here and I'm going to add five beads okay I have five and again I go in the same place one bead away from this angle here okay and at the next angle you see I'm one bead away from it I'm going to add three beads okay just like this Okay, three and now I'm here at the next angle where I'm going to add five okay five one bit away from the angle I go here you see here I'm one bit away from the angle and here I'm one bit away from the angle. Then I go through the next two beads. I take three and I go here. Then it's time to go one bit away from the angle and to add five and I'm going to alterate them five three five three and I'll meet you here okay and I'm adding here my last three beads again one bead before the angle one bead after the angle and now I will go in this direction and go in these first five beads that I added and I want to go through the middle of those fives that's why I'm going through three beads from here this is the middle of the five here I have two here I have two and this is the middle one and now what I need are six seed beads okay I have six and I'm going through this angle of the three beads that I added. Okay, six. Then again, six. Okay. Six. And I go in the middle one. then again what I need are six beads okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last six beads from this row and what I want to do next is go here through four beads and I'm two beads away from this angle here and I want to add seven beads Okay, I have here my seven and I go in the same place two beads away from this angle. Now what I do is that I go through all of the beads. now I'm situated one bead after this and I take three seed beads 
and I go back like this through those three beads. Now I exit at the same place, two beads away from this angle and I take seven beads. Seven. And I go in the same place, two beads away from the angle. Okay. Then I go at this angle. And just one bead after that. And I'm going to take three seed beads. And I'm going back in circle through it. then I go here at the same place and I will continue this 7, 3, 7, 3, 7, 3 and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last 3 beads from this row what I want to do next is go in this direction and I'm finding here the center. This is the central bead because here I have three, here I have three and now it's time to add my earring finding here and how I add it I take one seed bead, my earring finding and one seed bead here is what I take and I go back through this middle bead here when I pull I have this and then I'm going to reinforce and after I reinforce I go here at the angle and I will make here a knot, go once and twice through the loop I've made, I pull and I could repeat this knot several more times but when I'm ready I go through the following seed bead and I cut my thread okay guys so now my halloween gothic crowse seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make new tutorials usually twice a week and you will be inspired often down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials i will be so happy to see your creations you could also check my second channel with the fast clips thank you so much for watching bye bye from me